Okay, good morning everyone. How are you today? We are fine, thank you. Okay, since how about your classmates? They are good. They are good. So we don't have absent for today. So I guess let's start. If you want to answer, don't answer in chorus, okay? Just turn on your camera and turn on also your mic, okay? Okay, very well. Now I have here an activity. Kindly read. Guess the correct answer. So... How about the first and the second picture? It is a dry or wet season? Dry. Dry. How can you say so? Why it is dry? Because the little girl is playing in a sunny day. The little girl is playing outside with a sunny day very good how about the third and fourth picture wet how can you say so why it is wet because the children are playing in the rain yes very good the children are playing in the rain and you can see also the umbrella the raincoat and other materials for what rainy season yes rainy season now i have here a game who wants to play a game oh i see there's a lot of people here who oh very good just do this sign Okay, very good. Now let's play a game. It is called a scramble word. Now, we, first we have to read the mechanics. Everybody read. Dora wants to go outside to meet Boots and Diego, but she's not finished with her assignment. For her to go outside, her mother wants her to answer her assignment first. Would you help Dora to answer the scrambled letters that was given by her teacher? So are you excited? Yes. Yes, so let's have the first scrambled letter. It is referring to the condition of a place in a short period of time. What do you call that one? Weather. Weather. So let's see if your answer is correct. Yes, it is weather. Again, weather is a short period of time. How about this? It is characterized by pronounced rainy season with a thunderstorm. Wet season. Yes, it is a wet season because the answer key here is rainy and thunderstorm. So it is really a wet season. How about next? It is characterized by pronounced rainy season with a thunderstorm. Yes, it is a wet season, right? Yes. This. Can you read, everyone? It is characterized by hot and cloudless days between January and May. Oh, what do you think is the answer? Dry season. So, let's check if your answer is correct or not. Yes, it is dry season. Next. Oh, you got all the correct answer. So we did it. Dora and Boots are now celebrating because you got all the correct answer. Now, 
I have a question for you. What have you observed about our activity for today? About the games and also the questions of dry and wet season? Weather. Yes, very good. It is really a weather. So what do you, why do you think it is important to know the different kinds of um, season in our country, Philippines? Dry, wet, and dry. Season is really important to? Yes. To know because for, for that we can be more aware. Yes, very good. Now, our topic for the day is, can you read? Weather patterns in the Philippines. Oh, so what are the weather patterns in our country? So first, we have here the objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to, A, can you read? Describe the different seasons in the Philippines. In the Philippines through video presentation b identify the different weather con conditions in the philippines and and illustrate a real life, life situation of weather patterns in the philippines through drawing yes so what is weather but well, if you can say weather who still remember it is a short period of time while the climate it is the long period of time kindly read of the first um phrase Weather refers to the condition of a place in a short period of time. Again, weather is a short period, period of, of time. time. Well, the climate is the long period of time. So season is the period of the year that usually characterized by a particular kind of weather. The Philippines is warm and humid year round, so it is considered to be one of the healthiest tropical climate. So, Teacher Joyce, why can you say we have the healthiest tropical of climate? Because our weather have what? Two kinds of yes it is a dry and wet season so it is a rainy and sunny sunny season say yes what can you say about the two pictures what is the difference between the two the first one you can see that it is it is raining yes how about the second one the second one it is sun because because the leaves are dry yes do you think it is healthy the sunny day yes yes because the plants are growing but too much is not good because of the greenhouse effect so now Let's proceed. What is dry season is all about? Wet season is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with a thunderstorm. Starts in June and peaks in July to September, and then slowly fall slowly, and then falls over the end of the year. It is influenced by habitat or southeast monsoon. Farmers are also able to plant their crops. So I have here a clarification, okay. What can you see? The 
dry or it is a wet season? Wet. Why? Because of of the umbrella that the bear is holding. Yes, it is a wet season. So sorry for this. It is all about the wet season. So when you when you pronounce or when you know the word um rainy or thunderstorm, it's usually starts on September, July, and also to December. Diba? During our Christmas day, grabi katug now. So it is not a dry season. It is a wet season. Correct. Very good. How about this? It is a dry season or a wet season? Dry season. Yes, because as you can see the picture below. So when you said dry season, it is characterized by hot and cloudless days between January and May. During our summer days, init ba or, or maulan? Init. Yes, because it is summer. While in the Christmas um, month or day, um, it is rainy or sunny? Rainy. Usually, it is rainy. So, it is. However, the peak of the dry season is in April with fewer rain showers. It is influenced by the seasonal wind in Northeast Monsoon Amihan. It is also time for vacation. Who wants to go to Manila? Me. Why? Because I was my mom there. Yes, because your mom is there, so you you would go to Manila during your summer break or what? Term break. Okay. Now I have here a picture. A while for a while lang class ha. Okay. Lily and Tortles opposite shows. It shows wet and dry. And dry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wet Tortles. Get uh -oh. under here uh -oh. where it's dry. Get under here where it's dry. Tortles, why don't you stay under here with me? So what can you say about so what can you say about that dry and wet season video? Anyone from the class? Yes, what can you say about the video here? It's fun and it makes us learn the wet and dry season. yes very good the the difference between the wet and dry season how oh, 
Can I ask um, Vienna, what do you think um, the lesson learned in the video? Opposites and wet and dry. And also, do you prefer um, rainy days or sunny days? Sunny. Why? Because it's fun. You can play, play outside too. You can play outside with your friends while the rainy day you cannot play outside. You should stay in. Inside. Inside. Very good. Now I have another activity. So you have a ball pen and also a notebook there. Can I see? Okay, since you have a paper and pen now let's read the direction for today everybody read activity time direction the students will draw a scenario about weather patterns in the Philippines that they encountered every day either wet or dry season or the rich is averaging at 10 percent Good if you get a 15%. Very good, got 30%. So you have to draw the scenario or, or something that you can encounter every day in your daily life. Like during wet season, what do you do? During dry season, what do you do inside your house or outside your house okay okay i will give you five minutes only am i clear okay start it right now okay very good since um we have a little time so are you good class are you done yes okay very good since wala tayong time for today it is also included as your attendance you have to pass it mamaya okay after the class it is okay yes okay very good so, so we have a quiz time do you are you ready yes Okay, I want you all to participate. Okay, so click the picture link below. I have here a link for the quiz. And then it is called... Wait. A quiz time. Okay, first... It is a quizzes. It is a link. You want to answer this, all right? I will give you the link in our GC, okay? Okay, very good. So, let's check. Are you ready? Yes. If your answer is correct or wrong. Okay. Oh my god, are you ready? Yes. We have a 30 seconds to answer. Can change from R to R, day to day, month to month, or even year to year. It is also called short period of time. What is that? Weather. Weather. So let's check if your answer is oh very good clap your hand you get a two times cut of questions this also boost your confidence oh next which of the following is the long-term pattern of weather in particular area kaganiha kay short term kani kay long term climate change it is really a climate change. How about the climate? Yes. Climate change or climate? Climate. Let's see. Hmm. 
Very good. You get also the correct answer. Clap your hands. I'll use the emoji emoji below. What do you think will happen if rice farmers plant their crops during April or May? So it is a summer day. What do you think the plants it will grow or it will gi give supply? The plant will grow faster. So let's check if it will grow fast. Oh, your answer is wrong. The plants will have a supply of water. Yes, because too much heat, it can cause too dry leaves. Which of the following is a factor that affects the season of the Philippines? It is? Um all of the above yes very good let's answer everything let's check oh your answer is correct sorry get um you get only one wrong answer which activities could you do during the wet season during sunny day what do you think Drying crops. Let's see. That drying crops is not a good. Okay. Classmate said it's just planting. So your answer is correct. Last. What do you think will happen if rice farmers plant their crops in April or May? Again, let's check this. The plants will have a supply of water oh very good so you got all the correct answers since we already check your wrong answer so the and thank you for participating class did you enjoy yes yes very good now i have here a assignment kindly read assignment Re research about the climate types in the philippines give at least three to five scenarios on how climate change affects our society okay you can pass it tomorrow and i think that's all for today do you have any question none so far do you have any clarification about our topic for today yes what 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 is your clarification or none so far? Okay, none so far. So goodbye everyone and see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Okay, thank you.